understated sophistication, personal service, intimate spaces evoking residential refinement, plus a fantastic smoke-free location make Nomad Las Vegas one of my favorite hotels on the Strip. Hey travel friends, it's Helen with Nicely Travel and in this video, we're exploring the glamorous Nomad Las Vegas, a boutique hotel elegantly stashed inside the much larger Park MGM Resort, which was previously the Monte Carlo before being rebranded. I've stayed here a few times since it opened in 2018 and I'm always excited to return. Let's jump in and take a peek at how it's looking in 2024. Nomad is just south of Center Strip on the west side of Las Vegas Boulevard, situated between New York, New York to the south and Aria to the north. It's also adjacent to the Park Vegas and T-Mobile Arena. I really love the convenience of Nomad's location. From here, you can get to a bunch of great hotel casinos without even stepping foot on Las Vegas Boulevard. Nomad slash Park MGM is connected to Aria via walkway, and Aria is connected to Crystal's Mall and Cosmopolitan, plus the free Aria Express tram can take you to Bellagio too. And from Bellagio, you can follow another walkway to connect over to Caesars. Across these properties are some of the Strip's best restaurants, bars, clubs, and entertainment, and for me, this makes Nomad a fantastic home base. Nomad has its own dedicated driveway, valet, and entrance to the property. I'm definitely a fan of the private entry here. You can kind of roll up and avoid any crowds or fuss or muss on arrival. The low-key VIP vibe continues in the Nomad's plush private lobby. It provides a stark contrast to the bustling main Park MGM lobby. Over at the Nomad, you'll typically find no crowds and a space filled with comfy seating, peace and quiet, and dim lighting that feels especially blissful after long Vegas nights. In terms of amenities, Nomad guests have access to all the big resort diversions available at Park MGM, including pools, a spa, gym, casino, and a variety of eateries. The Italy location at Park MGM is super popular, and there's also Roy Choi's Best Friend restaurant and the fun Speakeasy Lounge on the record. Beyond the Park MGM facilities, Nomad has a few cool venues of its own. The Nomad Casino is topped by this iconic Tiffany glass ceiling preserved from the former Monte Carlo Casino. And this really boosts the ambiance in here and adds a dash of nice classic glamour. The soaring Nomad Library restaurant is a beautiful room to have dinner in. The attention to detail in the decor here and the fact that you're sequestered away from the noise and sights of the casino really add to a luxury feel. The menu features luxurious takes on American classics served family style alongside things like pasta, salad, and other entrees. The Nomad Bar, tucked just off the Nomad Lobby, serves dinner and late night bites, and it's kind of a perfect last stop for cocktails and snacks before turning in for the evening or morning. Finally, the Nomad has its own pool for guests that's open seasonally. It's a petite Moroccan-themed retreat and pool deck a few floors up from ground level. While not the hugest of Vegas pools by any means, it's a nice extra alternative to the main park MGM pools. The 293 rooms and suites at Nomad are spread across the top floors of the Park MGM Tower. Decor is in a timeless style with a New York kind of sensibility, and I appreciate that the rooms feel more residential than corporate with hardwood floors, nice rugs, subdued lighting, custom furniture, and original artwork. There are several types of rooms and suites available at Nomad. First, let's look at their entry-level style room, the Classic King. This room is about 400 square feet with all the signature Nomad touches, oak floors, mahogany writing desk, and fully stocked minibar. I love the velvet window seat in here. It's a great 
perch, especially if you have a nice strip view. And of course there's also the stuff you'd expect in a hotel room, smart TV, a decent number of outlets, and a full closet with safe. At 528 square feet, atelier rooms provide a spacious layout for two people. The floor plan is interesting for sure. The entry hall features a really nice vanity half bathroom and closet, while the main bedroom zone has an indulgent quirk, a freestanding pedestal bathtub near the king bed. You may love or hate this, but I'm personally in the love camp. It's pretty sweet, honestly, to have the option of a bubble bath in a big furnished room like this. The actual bathroom in here is similar to the classic king version with a walk-in shower. The last room we'll peek inside is the grand suite. This 700 square foot pad has a separate bedroom and living room, pedestal bathtub in the bedroom, oversized washroom with a marble shower, plus a half bathroom in the living area. A stay in this type of suite could be an excellent splurge if you're looking to go big on your next Vegas vacation. Even when you exit rooms here, the hallways maintain cool nomad vibes with flattering dim light and private seating niches studded around the elevator lobbies. One other thing I appreciate about the nomad is the majority of its rooms have a capacity of just two people, so it tends to draw few families and big groups, making the hallways pretty quiet by Las Vegas standards. Let's get into some fast facts about Nomad Las Vegas. Check in, 3 p.m. Check out, 11 a.m. 293 guest rooms across the top four floors of Park MGM Tower. Like most strip resorts, Nomad offers self-parking via the large Park MGM garage, or you can valet. Valet parking costs $35 to $40 a day, and self-parking is $18 a day for hotel guests. However, if you're a member of MGM's rewards program, you get these fees waived. So I definitely encourage you to sign up for the rewards program if you haven't already. The comped parking is great, and there's even more nice perks you can attain as you ascend to the higher reward tiers. Pets are welcome at Nomad, which I find endearing and refreshing for a strip hotel like this. Up to two dogs are allowed with a max combined weight of less than 100 pounds. Aside from service dogs, dogs are not actually allowed in public areas like the pool or casino except to just pass through. Another distinctive fact about Nomad and Park MGM, the property is completely smoke free. So if you are a smoke sensitive person who still wants to stay somewhere in the center of the strip action, Nomad is absolutely a hotel you should consider. Nomad does charge a daily resort fee of $42, which covers in-room Wi-Fi, domestic phone calls, boarding pass printing, digital newspaper and magazine downloads, access to Paramount Plus via in-room TVs, and fitness center access for guests over 18. And that's it, travel friends. We've wrapped our tour of the swanky hideaway that is Nomad Vegas. Thanks for joining me to check out one of Las Vegas' best hotel within a hotels. Have you stayed at Nomad Las Vegas before? Leave a comment. What was the highlight of your stay? And if you haven't been here, feel free to drop any questions below as well. Quick note, the opinions and observations shared in this video are our genuine, honest impressions. If you enjoyed the video, definitely like and subscribe. We'll be back very soon with another hotel tour for you. Till next time, keep traveling nicely.